of the indoor pool at Grossinger's. Above beautiful mid-century Sputnik chandeliers cast a glow on the swimmers below. Below the pool are exercise rooms, a gym, salon and a host of other amenities. Grossinger's Olympic-sized outdoor pool was built in 1949 for 400,000, about 5 million in today's market. Long gone are the private cabins, locker rooms and lounges that surrounded it. Our team did our best to make this video interesting for you guys. We'd appreciate your likes and subscribe. Enjoy! The brown, red and orange colors of this Spokon's dining room carpet have turned green, the color of the moss that took its place. The Homburg house now sits abandoned on the southern edge of the famous Borscht Belt. On its lower level, perhaps the highlight of the place are four Brunswick bowling lanes. It has seen better days. Grossinger's Indoor Tennis Center The reverse side of the postcard features an advertisement for Grossinger's rye bread, a local staple during the resort's operation, Jenny Grossinger's. Unity House is an innovative project that combines modern technologies and eco-friendly solutions to create a living space. It embodies the principles of sustainable development by using renewable energy. After a fire destroyed the main building of this resort in the Pocons, it was replaced in the early 70s. It is a truly impressive sight, a modernist spaceship hidden deep in the forest. Sunbathing and swimming in Poconos Postmark 1967 Dear Johnny, if only you were here, I would take you horseback riding, or we could play golf. Be good until I see you, Dr. Waterman. The indoor pool at Crossinger's, which opened in 1958, Elizabeth Taylor was present at the opening of the pool, and Florence Chadwick the first woman to swim across English Channel in both directions was the first to dive in it. It's very sad to see all these wonderful places going down the drain, where if they were now, they would be a great place to go with a boat, kids, or even just a weekend getaway. The caption on the back of this Spokane Resort's postcard advertises this theater as the most modern resort performance venue in the world. With a capacity of 1,200, it remains magnificent even in despair. The cocktail bar of a new defined resort in the Poconos Mountains. Calm relaxation is a healthy vacation, reads the caption of the back of the card. The stairs lead down to abandoned theater in Poconos. The last time the curtain went down here was sometime in the early 90s. Inspired by Mice Wonder Row, the Jenny Wynn, opened in 1964, was one of the last buildings erected at Grossinger's. It was designed by famous architect Morris Lepidus. On the inside of Matchbook is the text Swimming Sun Door, Swimming Pool at the Ben Hale Lodge and Cottages, the Poconos, Best Modern Resort. A trek attendant and the homework lodge in the Catskills, a place with the rich history that was once a popular resort in Catskills Mountain region of New York State. 
it was famous for its beautiful scenery and numerous activities. Looking down at the same building from the 70s, the ultra-modern building contains a dining room, cocktail lounge, lobbies and offices. A residential building in the Poconos Resort is in a state of disrespair. On the back of the postcard, Dear Bernie, don't think we have forgotten you, but we're having such a great time that postcards are a hassle. Postcard caption Birchwood as the only resort with three pools, an indoor pool, an outdoor pool, and a lake with a beach. The photo shows the beautiful Eagle Lake at the foot of Village Green. Elsie Alec has lived in the same house for 104 years, making her one of the longest standing residents in her community. Over a century in the same home has allowed her to witness remarkable changes in her neighborhood. The transformation showcased in the images is remarkable. It depicts the incredible potential of architectural renovation demonstrating how a neglected and deteriorating building can be restored to its former glory or even transcended. The 2011 disaster was particularly destructive, resulting in a tragic loss of life in the displacement of many residents. However, in the years since, Manare Senruku has been undergoing a process of rebuilding and recovery. My mom and I sitting on the stood of the Bronx house had been in our family for a hundred years, creating a photo of my great aunt and great great grandmother taken in the 40s. Edinburgh, Scotland. Through a then and now perspective, the top image appears to be an old photograph, perhaps from the late 19th or early 20th century featuring a view of city with its distinctive architecture of the period. The set of image you have provided shows the Gardbro in Utrecht, the Netherlands, which the upper photo dated 1925 and the lower one from 2022. The images depict the Vines, a resort in Fallsburg, New York, contrasting its heyday in the 1950s with a more recent photo showing its current state of abandonment and disrespair. The incredible transformation of the city over almost eight decades. The photo from 1944 shows the devastating impact of World War II. Buildings are reduced to rubble and smoke rises from the ruins. Thank you so much for your watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next video.